Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mystic Rose and I'm so happy to have y'all here with me today. We're going to be exploring all about the person on your mind and what goes through their mind when they see you. This could be their secret thoughts when they see photographs of you or they see you in person. Okay, so what are their secret, somewhat naughty thoughts they're having about you? This could be considered an 18 plus reading. All right, so I hope that you will enjoy. There will be three different piles to choose from. You can choose using gemstones or images or some combination of the two. The choice is yours. Just go to the timestamps down below and make your selection. And also, don't forget, I am going to be offering a subscriber bonus for all of my subscribers. Again, down in the timestamps at the very bottom, it'll say subscriber bonus. And it's going to be all about you and what makes you stand out in a crowd full of people. What are your most beautiful physical attributes? Okay. And it's going to be amazing. So if you haven't hit subscribe yet, that's okay. You can go ahead and hit subscribe and become part of this awesome community and I will channel your energy as part of my subscriber base. So, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Again, this is my way of saying thank you to all of you for being here and for being part of this awesome community. Okay. And oh, I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon members and also all of my channel members. And without your love and support, I truly wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you so much for your love and support. Let's go ahead then and get started with today's tarot pick a card reading all about the person on your mind and what goes through their mind when they see you. What kinds of naughty little thoughts are they having about you? Hello and welcome. This is your gemstone selection. If you are drawn to black obsidian, you'll choose pile number one. If you are drawn to Dalmatian Jasper, you'll choose pile number two. If you are drawn to hematite, you will choose pile number three. Do not forget about the subscriber bonus if you're interested in finding out about what makes you so beautiful? Why do you stand out in a room full of people? That is for my subscribers, so it's not too late to become part of my subscriber base and to be focused in as part of that energy. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Again, this is my way of saying thank you so much. All you have to do is go to the timestamps below to make your selection or selections because if you do feel more or drawn to more than one pile there is a reason for it so I would say feel free to watch however many of the piles that you feel called to watch okay and as always if you enjoy please be sure to like and leave a comment thanks so much let's go ahead and get started Hello, beautiful souls. If you chose image one or this black obsidian gemstone, you are in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be all about the person on your mind. What naughty little thoughts do they have? What secret thoughts do they have about you whenever they look at you? That could be looking at photographs of you or looking at you in just real life. Okay. So I'm going to be using a couple of different um, decks here today. I'm going to be using the um, Tarot de Nui and the Erotic Tarot and um, the Hermit Tarot. I'm also going to be laying down letter tiles at the end for confirmations and we'll see. Um, I think I will be rolling astro dice as well. Whatever spirit calls me to be doing throughout this reading, that's what I'm going to do. I always let this be a spirit-led conversation. Okay, so I'm going to cleanse the space. And now I'm going to connect with spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, 
and accurate messages to my pile one collective all about the questions at hand spirit and please speak through me as you always do thank you spirit so yeah i'm gonna be shuffling the cards until basically i feel like a tingling sensation which i'm already feeling it very strongly here so i'm just gonna tell you right what intuitively what i'm feeling is that you're very physically attractive okay my pile number one and that you mesmerize people in general but there's somebody in specific that may be on your mind um that you really i don't know it's almost like they feel like kind of addicted to you like your energy you have a very soothing energy about you as well it's like a soul soothing type of energy about you not only that i'm sensing too that you have a lot of personal flair you have great style and flair and essence about you Okay, I don't know why, but this is kind of reminding me of, like, Dracula vibes. You know, you could look a lot like that, um, the girl from Twilight, or one of those characters, one of the guys from Twilight. But there's a movie called Twilight, and all of the characters are very, look very romantic looking. If you were to look it up, um, I think I have, actually, let me, yeah, let me get my device and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's a picture that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about here. Like, just this almost, like, dark beauty type of thing where it's almost, like, captivating, a little mysterious, that kind of thing, that kind of vibe. That could be your aesthetic. You could have, like, a, um, a mysterious or romantic or interesting aesthetic or vibe about you. Okay, so here's the, all the characters. So you may somewhat resemble one of the characters from that or just have that kind of vibe about you maybe you're the kind of person that really likes um magic or halloween um some of you maybe you resonate with um crystal healing and that kind of thing because i'm just sensing that like you're a very magical powerful being and you really know a lot too and you draw all types of people in towards you a lot of people are caught up in their daydreams about you. I mean, here we have the Page of Pentacles. You also are very, you know, responsible. You look like you take care of yourself. And we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So lots of passion. And a lot of people want to give you compliments. The person on your mind that you came here more than likely to hear about when they look at you they just they see that you have so much passion i feel like they kind of secretly wonder like how you are in bed are you a good lover if this is somebody you've already been with and they're just looking at pictures of you then um they're just reminiscing about how good you are in bed <laughs> as a lover like you're a very intuitive lover you blend love and intimacy together very well that is what spirit was telling me four of wands and for some of you the person that you are inquiring about is somebody from your past who you know they're still hung up on you now that's not going to be for everybody but there's somebody here in this group who's watching and you came here to find out about somebody from the past that you or or somebody that you aren't sure if they actually care about you because um either they're in the past and they've supposedly moved on but yet they're still coming back and looking at your pictures and stuff okay that's going to be for some of you and for others of you this is somebody that you really like but you're not sure if they like you back but it looks like they really do have an eye for you and um they really do like you there could be something here on pause with the four of swords as well and um, the person that you're inquiring about could also be a fire sign or you could be a fire sign. And there also is earth energy here with the knight and the page of pentacles. So that is Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. So again, you or them. What kinds of secret thoughts are going through their mind? We have the moon. So it's definitely a lot of, a lot of secretive energy when it comes to this person they're not very forward in order to like you know to express or tell you how they're feeling they're not just going to um express it easily now i'm not going to look i'm just going to 
pull some of these charms. Okay, I'm just going to pull like a handful there. All right. Okay, so we have this business attire or professional attire. When when this person looks at you, they just they either they could be the type that wears like business professional attire to work, like a suit and tie and jacket or something like that to work. Um, or they see you as being somebody who's very like professional. You have this um, ethereal beauty about you. We got the alien here. So this person who has an eye for you, they really think that you have that sort of uh, ethereal beauty. What's coming to my mind, what Spirit is showing me is Katy Perry and how she looks in that one video, Extraterrestrial. Let me show you how she looks in that video, okay? Okay, and I love that song, by the way, and I really do like Katy Perry. She's a triple Scorpio. So this is how she was looking in that video. Very interesting, very otherworldly. You, okay, so this person thinks that you don't just look like a cookie cutter cutout version of everybody else. You have your own unique look about you. It doesn't mean that you look kind of, you know, over the top like this, but you do like to stand out uh, in different ways. And you do stand out in different ways. Your beauty is striking and it does stand out. There could be somebody here watching you from quite a distance away because we have an airplane here. So yeah, that just tells me that either this person who's watching you travels a lot or they live a distance from you. And then we got the I love quilting. This just tells me that like everything works out for a reason. So try not to worry about this connection. If this is somebody that like you're hoping to get together with or something like that, like Spirit is saying, try not to worry about it. <laughs> Some of you may be worried about it. It's not going to resonate with everybody. And then we've got this flower, which just tells me that like this person, when they like some of their secret thoughts are that, wow, your, your looks are growing and changing all the time, like improving, I was going to say. Yeah, because we also have the butterfly. So yeah, your physical looks are changing all the time. And again, we have the moon, which we have the moon here. Okay. And then we have the moon here. So yeah, there's definitely somebody who you came to inquire about who doesn't really want their true feelings to be known. Okay. But they love your body. Look at that. They think you have a really beautiful shaped body and they really are impressed with it. This says you are experiencing what's in your soul contract. So you have a soul contract with whoever it is that you, you are inquiring about when it comes to this connection. Okay. There's some kind of soul contract. This person loves your lips. I just heard that. They love your lips. And they love that you're not afraid to um, be daring with different um, styles. Styles and makeup looks and stuff like that. All right. Um... I think this one's actually okay. I don't think that there's anything I need to cover up here with this one. So yeah, um, the queen of candles is the queen of fire. That is, again, another, you know, confirmation here of that fire energy. The Leo Sagittarius Aries. And the other day we had Beyonce come up in a reading. And I'm telling you, her energy is present here again. So you could very well have those fierce... Beyonce types of vibes and energy about you. She is a one fiery gal and she has confidence for days. This person, they get excited about you. They get anticipation for seeing you. This person wants to see you. There's a, definitely a desire to see you. I'm hearing a song. I would walk a thousand miles just to be the next to be with you. So, um, I'm not sure who sings that, but it's like, I would walk a thousand miles. Yeah. Um, so if you know who that is, please let me know. But there's definitely somebody here who wants to like travel towards you. There's somebody, this could be like somebody who's watching you, like I said, like from the other side of the world, from a different country even. Um, but it doesn't have to be, it could even be just a few states away, but yeah, I don't think they're in your backyard or your hometown, but whoever this is, there's definitely like a longing, a yearning, an excitement and an anticipation to see you. They definitely think you embody royal vibes. I mean, here we have the queen and here we have the king. 
So that's a stately type of aura and vibe that you emanate. We have the page of candles. This person could secretly feel like they're competing. Um, for your attention, I'm just, I gotta cover something up. Secretly competing for your attention from other people when they look at you. Uh, they could possibly almost like feel like they're, they, they need to step up their game or something like that. They could have secret thoughts about you and them that may involve another person. Okay. Now that's not going to be for everybody, but I had to put that out there. Um, but this could just be a, a fantasy. <laughs> Okay, I have. To, I am just telling you what spirit is bringing through. All right, so um, and that's what that card is all about. Notice the number of people in that. Now that could just, like I said, just be a fantasy that they're thinking about. Well, yeah. See all the fire. So you definitely um have this person thinking about experimenting, and they want to show you how passionate they are about you. They also have a lot of love for you. And they want to reach out. Whoever this is wants to reach out to you. I really do think that there could have been um, somebody here who was hoping to hear about an ex today or somebody. There might be some distance between. There could have been like a fight or something between the two of you. On the bottom, it says, I imagine you, N-A-K-E-D. So, and I'm just trying to be careful as, careful, carefulized, careful, because I don't want to be demonetized. Anyways, um, let's see what else they're thinking. All right. Ferret, what else goes through their mind? I'm just going to randomly grab some of these and put them down and then... We can look, you know, I'll turn them around. Um, hopefully you enjoy these. Hopefully they're not too naughty. If they are, I'll have to, um, I'll just kind of look before and if they're too naughty. I will show you what they say, but I'll have to um, change my language around so that it's YouTube friendly. If it was my Patreon, I could, you know, anything goes on there, but. All right, so we have to be careful on YouTube. But yeah, um, can't keep my eyes off from you. There's definitely somebody here who feels like they can't keep their eyes off from you. Um, okay. There's somebody who wants to uh, explore intimacy with you outside. Inside, outside, everywhere. They're thinking about how you look in lingerie. And shower play is something that's very interesting to them. Um, they're also very romantic, rose petals everywhere, and yeah, um, they're thinking about toys, using different toys and stuff like that, and what that would be like to use different toys on you. Yeah, <laughs> um, this person is very, very attracted to you. They're surprised. I feel like they're very surprised because of the strengths of the strength of this connection and attraction is kind of like consuming it's all consuming for them they love your body they love your body language they love to think about you a lot especially like when they're alone and you know it's late at night they like to think about think about you and them and they desire you they want to be close to you. They want to spend time with you. They want to be romantic with you. They want to try different fantasies with you. They're imagining different scenarios or like situations involving you and them. Because they're very attracted to you. And they have a lot of emotions invested in you too is what I was hearing from Spirit. Yeah, they're excited about you. They feel like you just don't compare to anyone else. Like when it comes to other people, nobody compares to you because you're the best. So they don't even really try to compare you to other people because there's no comparison. You are the best in their opinion. And 
even if this is somebody from the past and they've tried to like move on and replace you it just doesn't work that way they're still thinking about you even if they're even if they say they moved on to be with somebody else they're still thinking about you yeah they're thinking about you this is this is going to surprise some of you but if this is somebody who supposedly moved on they're with somebody and they're thinking about you when they're being intimate with that person okay i'm not gonna lie okay and so what i'm gonna do is just clear this off and then um i'm going to do the um next portion okay okay so spirit please help me to choose out the correct letter tiles that already feel either the person watching this video or the person on their mind that they came here to find out about. Oh, and I might say some names too, because Spirit is kind of calling me to say some names. I might say your name or your person's name. If I don't, it's okay, because you might see their name or initials in the letter tiles, first, middle, or last name. Um, if you hear me saying a family member's name or a friend's name, just disregard that. Just let it, let it be known that this is an extra confirmation for you, okay? Because I have had that pa um, happen before to people where they're like, ew, gross, I heard my brother's name. And I was like, okay, it's just extra confirmation. It doesn't mean he's in love with you. <laughs> okay. So I was hearing some names. I'm just going to go ahead and um, channel some names. And then we'll get into the astro dice and find out their sign or your sign. And then um, we'll see. We'll see what else comes up. I'm just kind of trying to let spirit lead this. Uh, I was hearing Charlotte. Also, Carolina, you could be from North or South Carolina. Um, Devereaux, that could be like your last name, their last name. Energy goes both ways, so. I was hearing double helix. This person could study science or genetics, or that could be you. This person could be a physician, or that could be you who's a physician. Or even a PA, physician's assistant. I was hearing the name Horton, Dave, DeVries, that could be a last name, Pax, Patrick, Shane, Simpson, that could be like a last name, you or this person, Tani, Tanisha, Tamika, Tamara, Tracy, I was hearing Bondi, that could be like a last name, I'm not sure, Bondi, Bina, Lena, Laura, the last name Liscomb, Antonio, Dre, Drake, Bristol, Amir, Ahmed or Ahmed, Chantel, Quinn, Quinton, Karen, Capri, Gemma, Magdalene, or Magdalena, Maggie, Shayna, Shaniqua, Paris, Patrice, Havana, Savannah, I was even hearing Georgia, so that could be a name or where you're from. Sloan. Slavoj? Hmm. Slavoj? Slavic? Not sure what that means. Um, we have five and five. So that could be um, the fifth of any month or May. Maybe you have a birthday on May 5th. I don't know. 
or this person was born in the month of May, or you were born in the month of May, but we have five and five. Somebody here could even be 55 years old, or that could be how old your person is. I don't know. Just depends. We also have a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, and a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person here. So that could be you or this person. And then I want to go ahead and cast more charms just for fun. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of reach in here and I'm not going to look. I'm just going to turn this like this so I can't see anything. And I'm just going to ask Spirit to help me to choose the ones that we need. Okay. What else, Spirit? I'm just randomly choosing these. Okay. So, what do we got here? We got the answer is no. Somebody here wears glasses. Mother. Some of you could be a mother. Scorpio. A diamond. Okay, your name could be diamond or this could be somebody you were married to engaged to in the past or somebody you wanted to get married to we have a law officer this person could be maybe they work in a jail or that could be you or um is a police officer somebody who works in law or um public safety even okay um this shirt kind of reminds me of like blue collar maybe this is somebody who's like who would associate with being blue collared blue collared or like middle class as far as SES or socioeconomic status is concerned this person has like the kind of um i love you forever kind of vibes that's what this infinity symbol reminds me of like they are in love with you and they'll love you forever but yeah if there was something that you were wondering um we've got the answer is no so <laughs> Uh, that's going to be for, for some of you who had a question in mind, okay? Um, we've got the key, so this person feels like you are the key to their questions, things they're seeking out. You make this person melt, and we have the flower for growth. This person has seen you, has seen you grow they think you're very beautiful. They hold you in high esteem. They think you're very regal. You're somebody who would be like a sense of balance or provide a sense of balance for them or like security or groundedness also. And this person could have a dog or you could have a dog. You could even see their name in the tiles. Okay. I just heard Hugo. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, somebody here could have like a dog. Um, in spirit or in you know somebody it could be a dog in spirit who's passed that you had as a child or some or throughout your life whose energy is with you or a dog that is with you sometimes i get that in readings and it wanted to come up so that looks like to me a dog paw i suppose it could be a cat too but there's definitely a little animal here who is coming through also i'm seeing the name levi and I heard the name Dirk. And, um, hmm. There's a song coming up in my mind, Dirk Bentley. Because I heard Dirk, so I, I was hearing the song Dirk Bentley, Come a Little Closer, Baby. So you may want to listen to that song for some of you. Come a Little Closer, Baby by Dirk Bentley. So, so Spirit was bringing that through. I would definitely listen to that. And let me know if that resonated. Let me know your thoughts about this reading. Did you enjoy it? Did it resonate? And please do check out the subscriber bonus. Um, all you have to do if you're not subscribed yet is hit the subscribe button and I will automatically be able to include you in the energy of my subscriber base and we'll be letting you know in the subscriber bonus all about all the ways in which you stand out in a crowd of people with your beauty, okay? What is it about you that makes you stand out in a room full of people? And uh, yeah, this is my way of saying thank you to all my um, current subscribers. 
um, new and returning. And if you need a personal reading, do be sure to reach out to me. And uh, my information is in the description box below. And if you would like to join my Patreon, I have an 18 plus Patreon and it's really fun. And there's two tiers with different levels. Like level one is uh, $3 a month and level two is $6 a month. So they're both very affordable. And, and so just go ahead if you're interested and you can check out some, you know, current titles that I have there that you would have full access to as well as my library and new videos as they are released. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find info on how to do that in my description box below. Love y'all so much. Take good care. And until next time. Bye. Hello and welcome beautiful souls. I'm so happy you're here with me today and if you chose image two or this Dalmatian Jasper, you're definitely in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be all about the person on your mind and what are their secret thoughts they're having about you as they look at you. Now this could be that they're looking at your pictures online or they're actually looking at you in person, okay? And this could literally be anyone on your mind. I am going to be laying down some letter tiles toward the end and channeling names and hints and clues about your person, okay? As far as locations where you or your person are located, maybe occupations, hobbies, whatever spirit wants to bring through, all right? So... And then, yeah, I will be also rolling the Astro Dice and the, the Numerical Dice, okay? Don't forget about our subscriber bonus at the end. There will be time for you to go check that out, hopefully. And it'll be all about what makes you stand out in a crowded room full of people. What is it about your beauty that makes you stand out? So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to connect with Spirit, okay? Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 2 collective all about the questions at hand, Spirit, and please speak through me as you always do. Okay. I will be using the Tarot de Nui as well as the Erotic Tarot because, yes, this is an 18 plus reading okay and it's gonna be all about their secret thoughts they're having about you so yeah this is definitely gonna be all about the person who um is on your mind that is crushing on you okay and their name may be, may be revealed in the uh confirmation segment of this video we have the strength card Ten of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles. So this could very well be a co-worker. When I get a lot of Pentacles, that tends to alert me to the fact that this could be a co-worker, but it doesn't mean it necessarily has to be. But there is a high chance of this being somebody who um, is a co-worker or very good with money. They could make a lot of money. They also may view you in this light that you are somebody who's a very good earner. And that's part of the charm. You're also very, very loving. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy here. That could be you or them. We have Leo energy coming through and Earth energy. We also have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So fire. Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Which is so interesting because we had the moon in pile one as, or yeah, in pile one also. So this person could be somebody who's in a lot of emotional pain because they're, for some reason, they're not telling you their, their fantasies and what they are thinking about you when they look at the pictures of you or what they, you know, I heard regret. Some of, for some of you, this could be somebody who has a little bit of regret that they can't verbalize this to you because... I mean, Ten of Swords is not a, the greatest card because it, it's indicative of like having a lot of emotional pain or stress or troubles. 
And that is in like the matter of heart, the heart chakra type of area. You see how she's like pointing to her heart? It's like they want to express their heart to you, but they're having a hard time. Okay. One thing that really stands out to me is her red hair because this one has red hair too. You could have red hair or just have a really fiery personality. And she also has red hair. I'm seeing definitely brown, red, and blonde hair here. Whether you are male, female, whatever you uh, identify as, it doesn't really matter. You are just um, a charming individual here. You have a lot of love to give. You have so much love to give. And you have a uh, fierceness about you as well. They're secretly thinking that they want to have more time with you and they want you to teach them what you know. I don't know if you could um, be older than this person or if it's the other way around, but there's definitely a feeling of somebody wanting to teach somebody what they know um, as far as like, you know, bedroom skills and that kind of thing. How to please, <laughs> how to please someone. This person definitely wants to show you. I'm hearing a song. It's called, I'll Show You How to Touch Me. And I don't know who sings it. Let me see if I can look it up, okay? Well, I looked and I looked. I couldn't find it. <laughs> but if you know that song, please put it in the comments. Anyway, this person, like, there's a, um, there's, like, kind of, like, this real desire to, like, teach you. Teach you or have you teach them something. Something about what you like or how you enjoy being... Um, caressed or touched or loved okay this person like they almost like want to get inside of your mind and like read your mind and see what you like and let's go ahead and see what we can get with these oh wow okay we've got the ten of candles which is like the ten of wands okay so yeah definitely co-worker or boss types of vibes this could be like a um, your crush who really, really thinks you're really handsome or beautiful or attractive. And it's very, like, distracting in the workplace. Six of candles. That is the six of wands. So, yeah. That's the one with, in the rider weight, it's about, um, like, it's about somebody who's riding on to on the back of a, a horse they're riding into town and they're getting a lot of praise and accolades so i feel like this person when they look at you they want to give you a, a bunch of compliments about how you look because i don't know something's holding them back though like something is holding them back from really verbalizing and articulating their compliments that they want to tell you we have the queen of roses here i have to cover up a little bit um, okay, so they love your body. They love your, your attitude and everything that makes you you. You have very beautiful skin, the texture, the softness, the color of it even. They love everything about you. If you like to wear, um, I want to say like pearl necklaces or something like that, they, they love that you're kind of like ladylike like, like that. Like you like to wear pearls and stuff like that. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody, but it's definitely coming through for some of some of you out there. And if you are somebody who is in your divine feminine and that's how you like to identify as, then this person, they like to see you in such a way, like very open, very receptive. They're really hoping that you're receptive to their energy. And yeah, they want to be with you for sure. Yeah, I just looked it up in my book because I have a, a book about this tarot deck since it's kind of new to me. And it says here that the Queen of Roses embodies somebody who is very confident and somebody who is a businesswoman. Somebody who has no embarrassment about any kind of matters. This person is somebody who is really good in the bedroom. <laughs> okay this person is somebody who's very driven by a desire to take care of people okay so yeah and she has excellent taste and always prefers to be authentic and never artificial never fake and so that's what this queen represents 
And that is very, very interesting. So when this person looks at you, they're seeing you in that light. Okay. And they see you as talented too. They see you as, they wonder about the caliber, about your, I want to say like, by saying caliber, I mean, how good are you uh, at pleasuring um, the your beloved? That's what's coming to my mind, okay? That's what Spirit's telling me. They wonder how how well you do, how well you perform, okay? And there's a lot of mystery or intrigue about you, so they wonder. There's a lot of wonderment surrounding you. And, yeah, this... I definitely want to find out more, but there's intrigue. There's intrigue. There's... I just heard suspense. There's somebody in suspense. We got you matter. This person wants you to know that you do matter. Even though sometimes maybe this person acts like they don't care. Or they can play a little hot and cold. Yeah, this person, when they look at you, they think that you're a very deep individual. You're very sensual. And you showcase a lot of sensual energy. This person wants to be with you. They're trying to manifest it. They want you to notice them. They think you are romantic, glamorous. Oh, wow. This person wants to get you drunk. Just to, like, let, kind of make you let loose a little bit. You never age. You're mature and sophisticated, but you're not, you're not old. you it doesn't matter your age. You just seem very, um, young at heart. Definitely. We got a definitely there. Thank you, Spirit, for that. You are full of beauty, talent, and... Yeah, you're you're a symbol of sensuality. This person wants to be somebody who you look up to, somebody who you would consider to be a hero. They could be a very jealous person though. They don't like other people talking to you. They want you all to themselves. Listen to your heart. So that's what they really want to say to you is Listen to your heart. What is it telling you? I'm going to go ahead and draw some of these out. All right, spirit. What is this person thinking? Oh, wow. I can tell already. Okay. Your body is a gift. So they're imagining you with nothing on except a big giant bow. All wrapped up for just them. You lift this person up with their spirits whenever you come around or they look at pictures of you or they look at you, they feel elevated or lifted. They really love your interesting style, even the way you do your hair or your nails. We have the ghost here, so that reminds me of like, this person could have ghosted you. This could have been somebody who acted like they were ghosting you or something. Or this could have been somebody who like might have acted like they rejected you in some way. But they're still keeping an eye on you. So that's going to be for some of you. You'll know if that's you. Taco. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. It's a slang for something. The taco. I mean, this person's thinking about you, especially if you are in your divine feminine energy. This person is thinking about having you be really receiving of them and almost like being part of you, intertwining, becoming enmeshed with you. The sun will come out. This person. And we have truth here too. The truth is going to come out. The sun's going to come out. This person wants the truth to be known to you. And it's because like you make this person really happy. This person could be an artist or they could paint houses, paint interior. Maybe they, they could own, it, they own their own business and possibly they are somebody who paints interiors or exteriors of homes because we have the paintbrush or they're artists. They could be art teachers. That could even be your energy since energy goes both both ways. And then we have this like little warning and it's like a traffic cone. You know what I mean? Here, I'll hold it up. 
so there's a little bit of a warning about something there and uh we got the snake which can be for good luck uh let me see uh i know that there's like of course there's a negative connotation for a snake right but snakes can also be for healing energy so it's gonna depend but let me see if i can find the spiritual meaning of a snake is for rebirth transformation and healing okay okay so the snake symbology is such that it encompasses the soul's journey self-realization femininity primal energy healing and rebirth eternal wisdom focus cycles protection remaining grounded throughout changes shedding what no longer serves your higher good so take whichever one of those really applies to you during this situation okay and that will provide you with extra guidance from spirit okay um, i'm just gonna channel here a little bit and um yeah i'm gonna hold on to my clear crystal quartz and i'm gonna channel a little bit before i get into the names and the letter tiles and the hints and clues segment so overall i'm seeing a strong sensual energy emanating from you that this person is undeniable and it's a lot of physical beauty confidence talent like i said spirit showing me your sensual side it's very i want to say like provocative and magnetic and captivating you have a mature and sophisticated look or vibe about you and you seem very mature for your age you're very charismatic in the fact that many people are drawn to you and you kind of command attention with your magnetic presence when you walk into a room. If you're interested in knowing more about how you command the room or take attention in a room, definitely watch my subscriber bonus because it's all about that. I'm hearing too from Spirit, you have a lot of poise. And you exude this poise and grace when you walk, when you talk, everything you do, even the way you stand. And you have a lot of allure. I'm hearing that you could very much look like Catherine Zeta-Jones used to look when she was younger or have those kinds of vibes, like how she was in that movie. Um, wasn't she in like Zorro, Zorro or something like that? Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about because Spirit was showing me Catherine Zeta-Jones and... I was seeing how she looked in that Zorro movie. And I really do think you, especially if you are a feminine watching this, you will know what I mean. Let me, let me show you a picture real quick. Yeah, so it's the mask of Zorro. And she's got like an almost like this fierce but innocence about her. Here she is. She's sword fighting. She can take care of herself. She's somebody who can defend herself. She doesn't need other people to defend her. She's got a strength of character. And I feel like this is why Spirit was bringing this through. Also, like I said, you could look like her. If so, you're very lucky. She's very gorgeous. Or you just really exude a lot of these vibes. Catherine Zeta-Jones vibes in the movie Zorro. And... Also, I guess it's just to be noted that she's somebody who tends to really be ageless because I've seen pictures of her now, like how she looks now, and she still looks very much the same. And she also has a very good and kind heart. Okay. From what I have known about her as far as like, you know, what I've heard in the, in different articles and things. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to clear this off and then I'm going to start the next segment, okay?
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the letter tiles out in channel names. And I may get some hints and clues about you or this person who is having a lot of thoughts about you. Whenever they look at you, who is this person? Some of you, you already know because you probably came to this reading with this person on your mind. And hopefully this will be confirmed here. You may see your name or initials. Let that be confirmation that you chose the right pile. Or you could see this person, the person on your mind. Um, for some of you, maybe you'll be surprised. It could be somebody you didn't come to the reading for, but that is crushing on you. And definitely either way, let me know, please, in the in the comments section how this has applied to you. I was hearing Keisha right away, so I had to say that because that name was coming out like now. <laughs> Keisha. I love that name. All right. I will be saying names. If you don't hear your name or anybody you know, that's okay because you can still find initials or names in the letter tiles and i'll be doing the astro dice too and stuff like that so i'll be giving you a lot of hints and clues so yeah i'll also i'm seeing utah in the tiles so you could be from utah uh, i was hearing the name celeste so your name or their name could be celeste oh and if you hear family na family members names or Anything like that, just let it be confirmation. Don't, don't, please don't take it the wrong way and think that your family members think that way about you. Okay, I've had people tell me like, oh, you, you said my brother's name. That's just added confirmation. It doesn't mean that they want you <laughs> in that way. Okay, so just know that. Okay. And um, what I'm doing here is stacking the duplicates because I don't take duplicates, but you can duplicate letters if you need to. You definitely can duplicate letters if you need to. And if everything is there except one letter, it still counts. But as far as other names that I'm hearing, Dale and Dwayne. Reggie or Reginald. Lexi. Demarius. Newman. Naomi, Kiki, Kennedy. I was hearing Bergeron. That could be like a last name. Baxter. Darren, Evan, Devin, Delilah, Andrew, Stacy. Stu or Stuart, Alex, Dalton, Peyton, Paige, Patrice, Pixie or Dixie, Angie, Don or Donna. Some of you could like opera music or this person likes opera or you could be a singer, maybe an opera singer. You could really like Andre Bocelli or maybe this person or you looks like Andre Bocelli because I am seeing Andre Bocelli in my mind. I was hearing that song Fall On Me by Matteo and... Andre Bocelli, so that song could have pertinence to this connection. Fall on Me by Matteo and Andre Bocelli. So you may want to look those two up because they're two very handsome fellas. Uh, and this person, or you could look like that, or maybe you are from Italy, or this person could be from Italy. The name Haley, Weston, Scott, Reggie. I think I said Reggie, Reginald already, but you could have a very celestial look about you because I'm seeing celestial in here in the tiles. All right, and Pete or Peter. Ricky, Kevin, 
Rio, Carmen, Lucas, Luke, Nehemiah. I'm just going to say a few more names, okay? Cadence and Harley, Hazel, Kaya or Kia, Marcus, Nikita, Tanner, Suki, Caitlin, and Desiree. Oh, and Janae. Okay, Janae. Also, what I wanted to do was um, I kind of forgot to lay down some of these. Okay, so I'm going to lay down some of these. So let's go ahead. It's not too late. Let's see. Now, if these are a little too naughty for my YouTube, that's okay because I'll just... I will still say what they are, but I'll kind of water it down, you know? On my Patreon, I can say whatever, but on YouTube, I've, I've got to be a bit careful. So, let's see. Okay. This person, when they... I can't really show this one, but I'll tell you what it says. Um, it's mutual, you know what. So, this person wants to, like... When they think about you, when they see you, they think about, like... The pleasure that you could receive okay or that you could give to yourself or like doing that um in front of each other um okay they they have a very playful very very playful energy about about them they think about like flirting with you you know um yeah flirting with you you could say what else? They think about how cool it would be to have like a boudoir shoot with the two of you together. And they definitely dream about giving you a lot of pleasure. They really like your booty and they think about like a lot of booty play and what they would want to do with you. You make this person feel safe. And um, this person thinks about what kinds of sounds they'd like to have you make in the bedroom area when you're having a fun time together. Uh, it says here, men instinctually respond to the sound of moaning and sensual breathing. So that's what came out. <laughs> okay, they want to hear you making sounds and just getting into it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and roll the astro dice and see if we can find their birthday or sun, moon, or ascendant, or your birthday or sun, moon, or ascendant. We got Leo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Then we have 11, which could be the 11th of any month for birthday, or November. So you could be born in November or this person, and then we have nine. Their birthday could be 9-11 or 11-9 or they, they could be born on any on the 9th of any month or in September or you could be born on the 9th of any month, okay? That'll let you know you definitely got the right pile. You can also play like a little bit of a spiritual scrabble and see what, you, what else you can get when it comes to words and then if you want to leave them in the... Um, comment section that would be great i'm gonna also just pull a few more of these okay spirit what else can you tell us okay i just heard like okay so we got the socks here i was hearing like nothing but your socks on <laughs> okay um, we have the moon here for secrets. This person has a lot of secret fantasies for you. We got the hot pepper. They definitely think you are very hot. Okay, very, very hot, spicy. And this person, like, it's almost like with this face, they may not know exactly how to feel or how to approach you. And then we have, you are experiencing what's in your soul contract. Interesting. We had this for pile one, too, for like that almost like otherworldly type of beauty and I had talked about like the Katy Perry, I can't even talk, Katy Perry video, um, extraterrestrial 
and how she really has like those out of this world types of vibes so you could look like Katy perry or like you know kind of have that energy she's a triple scorpio too and then we have ha hookah which is actually an adinkra indikrin I, I hope i'm saying that correct adinkra code or symbol for awakening and the adinkran codes come from ghana in africa so they're very very um special and unique to that area ghana in africa so they're very cool i just recently started researching about those symbols this is another one that stands for good marriage this person dreams about like marriage with you or taking it to the next level or that could be indicative of um yeah this person may want to like be engaged or something like that or definitely take it to the next level look at this we got a number one here a winner 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 this person thinks of you in that way and you are a sweet treat for sure we got the pie that reminds me of like pumpkin pie or something like that this person they could want to be like incorporating food into the bedroom as well and they could be in Aries because we have Aries here and then we have the dice here. So they feel lucky. They feel lucky whenever they get to see you. And with the skull here, that can symbolize Scorpio energy or transformation. So they've seen you transform. They, they have, Maybe this person has been watching you for a while. I just heard the name Frank. So that could be for some of y'all out there. Frank okay denny interesting this person could have been watching you for a while has their eye on you for sure we have the squirrel okay i'm gonna look up the spiritual symbol symbology of the squirrel the squirrel is for good fortune and abundance okay interesting Wow. Okay. It says some people believe that seeing a squirrel may signify that you will soon meet your twin flame. That's what it says right there. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So, I mean, it's very possible this could be like a twin flame type of connection, you know, or something like that. Very interesting. Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's reading. And don't forget to check out the subscriber bonus. It's not too late to be considered as part of that. You just have to press subscribe and become part of this awesome tribe. And to those of you who already are members of this awesome tribe, I love y'all so much. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for being a channel member. Thank you for being a Patreon member. Thank you for all of your donations. If you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find more info on how to donate to my channel in my description box below. If you'd like to join my Patreon, just look in my description box below. There's a link to my Patreon and you can check it out. And it's so much fun and it's really affordable. So definitely check that out. And also, I was going to say too that... Uh, yeah, I do personal readings. If you'd like a personal reading, just check out my description box below for more info on how to get a personal reading with me. Love y'all so much. Hope to see you on over at the subscriber bonus. Take care. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to your reading. If you chose image three or this hematite, gemstone you're in the right place for today's pick a card all about the person on your mind and what are their secret naughty little thoughts about you as they look at either your pictures or they see you in person what are they thinking what are their naughty little thoughts okay this is an 18 plus reading i hope that you will enjoy i'll be channeling and i'm also going to be laying out letter tiles toward the end and rolling the astro dice and the numerical dice Okay, I'm going to be using the Tarot de Noe and the Erotic Tarot. Alright, I'm going to connect with Spirit before we begin. 
and cleanse the space. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 3 Collective, all about the questions at hand, Spirit, and please speak through me as you always do. Thank you. I always shuffle until I get like a tingly sensation in my heart chakra area. We have nine of wands. So immediately this makes me think that somebody, this could be somebody who may have their defenses up a little bit. Maybe they just don't uh, tell you everything they're feeling right at once. Nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. A lot of pentacles here. Which, of course, can be something that can alert me to the fact that this could be somebody at your workplace or somebody that you knew from work. This could have been a past coworker or something like that. But, um, I don't know. It's just going to be different for all of you because it's many people watch these videos. So, and it's a general. So, take it as it resonates. But also, this could mean somebody who's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Sun, moon, or ascendant. Okay. And then, Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This person could act a little bit um aloof at times or hot and cold like they're interested and then they may send a little bit of confusing energy just depends high priestess at the bottom interesting and let's see i'm just gonna look here Yeah, the tower here could be significant that this could be an ex. There could be more than one person. Maybe you came here for one person, but, but there could be more than one person in this reading that's looking at you and thinking about you, okay? <clears throat> so hopefully you'll be happy about the people that are kind of keeping an eye on you and wanting to tell you how they feel about you. Because I will be going into exact names in the name segment. But yeah, there could be somebody here who... Uh, it, it could be that you had an ending with one of these people. And also, there could be somebody who's just not very good at expressing how they feel. And there could, there could be a co-worker. Co-worker, boss, that kind of situation. It could be a sticky situation, Spirit just said. Okay. There could be a situation where this person could kind of like be very, I don't know why I was hearing like narrowly focused or like just looking at you and then trying not to look at other things or other people like this person almost like, I was hearing like, I only have eyes for you. Interesting. I only have eyes for you. We've got the Empress. So I do have to cover this up a little bit. But the Empress, this person thinks you're very, very attractive. Like the most attractive person they've ever seen. When they think about you, they think about doing all this naughty stuff to you. <laughs> We're going to get into that, but not like ex too explicitly or anything like that. But um, I will touch upon it. Okay. I will touch upon it. They think you're very exquisite. This person also wouldn't mind having children with you. Okay. And if that's something you're interested in and they think you'd make beautiful babies. Six of Roses. And the Five of Feathers. Okay. So, this is a, a very new deck to me. So, I'm going to look up these meanings of these cards. Okay, so basically, the Feathers are indicative of swords in the Rider Waite. So this is the five of swords and that can stand for conflict or even people like fighting for your attention or conflict, uh, you know, like um, somebody vying for your attention where there could be a lot of people that want your attention and there's somebody here who feels like they're almost like competing for your attention. Okay. And then the roses, let me see about the roses. Then the six, the roses are actually coins. So earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that kind of earth energy. And the six of roses is about recognition. And this person basically wants your attention really badly. 
and they want to give you a lot of desire, um, not desire, but uh, they want to give you a lot of compliments and make you desire them. And then looking at this book here for the Empress, looking at the Empress here, it says it stands for like uh, a beautiful woman's body and or it doesn't mean you are a woman. It, it's just a very attractive quality that you have. And it can stand for your loving nature. You could be very um, soothing. And you are somebody who acts very natural. And this is appealing. You always give great advice. You have a beautiful mind, heart, body, and soul. And you could be very expressive through art. And... You look very healthy, and you have just very a very magnetic, alluring kind of vibe about you. You radiate sensuality, and you project an aura of kind of like vulnerability and mystery. And I heard iconic. You could look very much like, doesn't she kind of look like Marilyn Monroe? Oh my gosh. You have iconic vibes. Yeah, so this person, when they look at you, they see you kind of like as a symbol of like, or an icon or something like that of like charisma and beauty and sensuality. You almost have like, um, you know how Marilyn Monroe had like the, the coy or um, like little girl, like innocent vibes about her. But yet, she could, like, pull you in and show you her world. And it, it is very, it was just very captivating. Like, there's no, none other than her siren energy that everybody always proclaims. And um, a lot of tarot readers will will tell you, like, you have Marilyn Monroe vibes and energy. And it's, like, so true because it comes up so much and so often because she's an icon. And that's, like, the kind of energy that you radiate. So, I mean, of course, look at this. I mean, look at her beauty, too. This looks like a very old-timey, old-fashioned classic beauty or cl old Hollywood classic beauty that you possess. And your eyes are just those types of eyes that, like, kind of, like, stare into your soul. But I feel like when this person looks at you and they see your eyes, they kind of, like, wish that you they kind of hope or wish that you would like look at them the same way that they see you and like they wish that you'd like undress them with your eyes or like want them <laughs> that's what I'm really really saying they think you have a very sultry like voice too and there's something about your demeanor there's just something very sultry about your whole demeanor and your ability to light up the room. You have like a, radi a radiant type of personality. And it's really quite undeniable, the appeal that you have. Your appeal leaves a long lasting impression on people. And I think too, that's why like exes can get very hung up on you. Or people that you've kind of been on hold with or on pause with could be a breakup i mean we have the tower like i said i feel like there's more than one person coming through here that is thinking about you a lot and looking at your pictures or seeing you in person and being just like i want to say like aghast with the way they feel about you it could be very shocking how they feel so much for you it could take them by surprise and this could be because maybe some of you had ha have had some kind of very powerful type of transformation. Like you, c it's almost like the, re I don't know. Like for some of you, you could have had some kind of body type of transformation where it's like, look at me now. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, let's go ahead and look a little closer at this. What else um, can you tell us, Spirit? What else can you tell us? Let me have you. Oh boy, when this person looks at you, they're like, just let me have you. They have like uh, animal instincts for you. They want you. They want you now. They want to reach out to you. They want to tell you. Um, it's harder for them to verbalize it. If I follow you, I could lose everything. So there could be somebody here, here who could be in a different... Um, whoa, uh, like um, there could be somebody here who 
like they're in a position of power or something like they let's say you have a workplace policy or something and they're worried if they actually like tell you how they're feeling about you that they could lose their status or their position okay it could also be somebody who's in a relationship and they don't want to jeopardize it so they don't want to tell you how they're feeling about you but maybe they're not happy in their current relationship this person is thinking about you they're laying awake and they're thinking about you they're thinking about a future with you they're dreaming and wishing for you for everything that they want to do with you. There's somebody here who misses you. Yep. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing that forth. Yep. There's somebody here. It says uh, on the bottom, you make my heart full. You make their heart full. All right. Now I want to see what else we can find out. I'm going to be using these cards. All right, so some of these might be naughty. I use these for my Patreon. But um, if they're too naughty, I'll just say it in like a watered down kind of way, friendly for YouTube, because YouTube has a lot of standards and stuff. But yeah, Spirit, please add to this conversation what goes through their head when they're seeing them. I just heard like somebody here, if this is an ex, there's a lot of regret for losing you. Mind control, there's somebody trying to send you telepathic messages or trying to hook up with you in the 5D. Submission, there's somebody thinking about you that when they think about you, they want you to like submit to them. They want you to lay down and let them do all the work. <laughs> um, drink up every drop of them. Eyes wide open. And they're very romantic in a way. They want to see you like pleasuring yourself yeah i just heard the word kinky they could have a kinky side interesting um i'm gonna do a little channeling before i get into like the name segment i also want to just grab some charms and see what we can get spirit what else can you tell us about this i'm not looking i'm just gonna grab some okay some of you had a weight loss, yeah, and that's what they're thinking about you, so thank you, Spirit, for that. I do think some of you lost weight, even if you're not even aware of it. You just look like you did, and that's why you got the attention of some ex or something like that or somebody who's been watching you. Animal instincts, see? Yeah, you bring up the animal instincts in somebody here. This is about, like, divine timing. We've got the clock here about something about divine timing. The lion, somebody wants to be stronger. They want to be strong enough to come up to you and tell you what they're thinking. The stars are aligning, aligning so um, there's somebody who's definitely, like, waiting for the right time or waiting for the stars to be in alignment so they can actually, like, approach you and tell you how they're feeling. Okay. What I would like to do now is I want to get into the portion where I'll do, like, you know, um, like I'll put out the astro dice and I'll roll the astro dice and stuff like that. And like, I'll put out the letter tiles. Okay. We'll see if we can find out your birthday or this person who's thinking about you, their birthday. I'm going to be channeling exact names. Uh, as far as the name segment here, when I say the names, I may or may not say the name of you or anyone you know. If I don't, that's okay. You can still look for um, the person that you're thinking of. You can look for their initials or their first, middle, or last name in the tiles. Or your first, middle, or last name in the tiles or your initials because that can be a hint or a clue to you that you chose the right pile. These are extra confirmations. Okay, also, you can duplicate letters if you need to. Um, if everything's there except one, it still counts one letter. Uh, I heard Belize, you or this person could be from Belize or that area. I don't know why I was hearing Feliz, Feliz Navidad. I think that means Feliz Navidad. Um, you or, or this person could be Spanish speaking. I think that means Happy New Year. Um, I also heard Feliz Cuplianos. That could be happy birthday. Maybe somebody here has a birthday coming up soon. If so, happy birthday. That could be you or them. I was hearing Larry, Larissa. Mm -hmm. 
John, Jonah, Mike, Dupree, Amber, Amir, Amaya, Victor, Vix, Vinny, Brian, Brad, Desiree, Trina, Katrina, or Katarina, Karina, Corinne, Lyric, Stormy, the last name Davison. I was hearing Harley Davidson. This person could even be interested in motorcycles or own a motorcycle. Maybe they own a Harley Davidson. I don't know. Their name could be Harley, first, middle, or last. Shamrock. I don't know why I'm seeing a shamrock. So maybe this person is Irish. Or likes maybe uh, something about Ireland. Uh, maybe they live in Ireland or something like that. Or you do. Shade. I don't know if that's like a name. Shade. Shanae. Shakira. I think there's a singer named Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. You could look like that or you could be a belly dancer because I believe she's a belly dancer. Tony. Colt. Colton. Abe. Rayshawn. I was hearing that Colors of the Wind by Pocahontas. Some of you could have like Native American ancestry. Maybe you really like Pocahontas or you could look like that, you know. Um, the name Paul or Paula. Hmm. The name Amanda is coming through Salima or Salim. Selena, Sarah, Kate or Katie, Robin, Vanessa. I see also hearing Vanish. It's an interesting name. Harmony, Daisy, Alana or Alanis, Kathy. Cheryl, Ollie, Grace, Pedro, Charter? I don't know. I was hearing Charter. That could be like a last name. Marushka, Makita, Makita, or Nakita, one of the two. It's like, it sounds like Makita, but it could be Nakita. Um, Willow, London, Cassidy, Serenity, Jameson or James, Jamie, Jason, Sebastian, Christian or Chris, Naeem, Nazir, Phineas, and Miguel. Also, I was hearing the name Murphy. That could be like a last name. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. We have three 
and we have 11. You could be born on 11-3 or 3-11, um, November or March, or this person could be born on any of those days or months as well. Um, we have Virgo, and we have Taurus, and Aries, and Pisces. So you could have any of those in your sun, moon, or ascendant, or this person could have those signs in their sun, moon, or ascendant, just letting you know that this is definitely your pile. I'm going to go ahead and draw more charms, cast charms. I don't know why I was hearing this, but I was hearing the name Andy, like Andy Warhol. So you or this person could be into artwork or like um, maybe you're a big fan of Andy Warhol. I'm not sure. We have the peacock, which is a symbol of beauty. You have a lot of physical beauty that this person admires. I heard the name Linda. I don't know. Maybe your name is Linda. Good marriage. I feel like this person wanted a good marriage with you or they still do. They want to be married to you. They're thinking about it. Um, this person could want to be your, maybe they want to be your backup person. This person is in love with you. It doesn't matter how long ago you were with this person. This person is in love with you. We have Leo. This person could be very outgoing. Maybe they have nice hair for their age. If they're, let's say they're a little bit older. Maybe they have really nice thick hair or a lot of hair. Maybe they have a very handsome face. Okay, um, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, or ascendant. Also, Aries here. That's just like another confirmation here because we have Aries here and Aries here. You can also play a little spiritual scrabble and see if you can see any words here because you might be able to see something that I missed and you can put it in the comments and share it with everybody. Look at this. We have um, the moon. So this person has like secret thoughts for about you that they kind of don't want you to you know know about. They could um, know that you like to practice magic. If you like to practice magic, this person thinks it's enthralling. They think it's interesting. If you like manifesting magic, that kind of thing. Okay. We have USA. You or this person could be from the USA. Okay. Um, they think that your body is a gift. They may want to... Like, when they look at you, they just kind of imagine you with, like, nothing on except for wearing, like, a big, huge bow. <laughs> they think your hair is very beautiful and you have nice teeth. Um, this person could like to wear a baseball cap. Um, maybe they wear a baseball cap quite a bit. There's a little jealousy here, especially if, let's say, if you moved on and there's somebody here that likes you still from the past. They may be a little jealous that you moved on from them. Self-control, um, I feel like this person could have had a little too much self-control. Maybe they might have wanted to tell you at one point in time that they really loved you and cared about you, but they let themselves be a little too much self-controlled, and they couldn't tell you how they were feeling at the time, so hence the regret. You do bring out the animal instincts in this person, though, and they, they still think about you in a wild manner, <laughs> in a wild way. And then, yeah, they might think you're kind of witchy or that you put a spell on them because they can't forget about you. Isn't that interesting? Because we got the little witchy broom and the voodoo doll, so this person may think that you put a spell on them. <laughs> uh, and I'm seeing hex here, too. So somebody might feel like you put a love spell on them or something because they can't get over you, Okay. And as far as like anything in here, let's see, fun. I'm seeing that you have a really fun personality and this person thinks about your fun, how much fun you are like inside and outside the bedroom. You're just like really fun, brave, want to try new things all the time because I am seeing that brave. You're such a doll. You have a beautiful face like a doll or you're very handsome. You could have like a if you're a man, you could have a rugged type of handsomeness or this or this man if, or if this is a man, he's very like ruggedly handsome. He may look very handsome with five o'clock shadow. I could definitely see that there could be somebody here who is a silver fox because that is coming through. So this person or you could be a silver fox. 
It doesn't have to be. The name Barry was coming through here. Barry. And the name Barash. I've never heard that name before, but Spirit was bringing through that name. Lindy or Brindy. Brindy, again, that could be, maybe that's a city or town or place. I don't know, but I was hearing Brindy. Like B-R-I-N-D-Y. I don't know. I have no clue. That could be a name. I've ne I just never heard it before, but. Um. <clears throat> and this person, like, thinks about how much fun it would be to just get together with you and do stuff. Like, just the little things. This person, like, there's a longing. A longing for getting together and just, like, making each other laugh. And I'm hearing that song um, by Adele. Um, you make me feel, <clears throat> it's called you, like, I don't know what it's, but it's like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, you make me feel like I am young again. You make me feel like I am home again. Um, whenever I'm alone with you. Uh, so this person, they, there's definitely like, um, a thought, a desire to be like alone with you. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's definitely, I just heard close the door. <laughs> so yeah, this person definitely like wants to be intimate with you behind closed doors. And I just heard shh. So it could be like they, they don't want it to be known. It's like a secret. Um, you intoxicate this person. Um, I was hearing muse. You could be like a muse or inspiration to this person. I just heard the name Donovan, so that could be you or this person. Somebody here could be like, I don't know, maybe you or this person owns a cat. I was seeing like a little black cat. Um, I don't know why Spirit was bringing this through, maybe. Maybe some of you just recently like created an avatar of yourself or something or this person uses an avatar for themselves that could be a clue as to who this is like an a bit emoji or something like that you know or maybe you just like change the outfit on your bitmoji or you know created a bitmoji or something so let that be a confirmation i know that seems random but i had to bring that through for somebody yeah it could be like for some of you this person uses a bitmoji a lot or something instead of an actual photograph and that might be a hint or a clue that you needed so let me know if this resonated and definitely be sure to head on over to the subscriber bonus after this to find out all about, you know, what makes you stand out in a crowded room as far as your beauty and stuff, like what really stands out about you in a good way. And um, yes, I will be channeling the energy of my subscriber base, so it's not too late to be considered as part of that. And if you like 18 plus uncensored readings, I do Patreon readings. Um, they're all uncensored and really fun. So if you like this kind of reading, I think you're really going to love that kind because it's totally uncensored. And you can go to my description box and go to the link and um, you'll find the link to my Patreon and you'll find all the info there, okay? And it's really affordable and like I said, lots of fun. And of course, if you don't like it for any reason, you can always cancel it anytime, but I think you're really going to like it. If you need a personal reading, check the description box for info on how to get that. I do offer those as well. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never um, expected, but always appreciated. Much love to you all, and don't forget to like and comment. Bye! Hello, and welcome to all of my subscribers, those who are returning subscribers, and those who are new subscribers. I will be channeling your energy as a way to say thank you so much for being part of this amazing community. This topic for the bonus is going to be all about what makes you stand out in a crowded room full of people. What is it about you that makes you stand out in the most beautiful ways? Okay, so I'm going to connect with Spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to connect with my subscribers who are here today who want to know what makes them stand out in a crowded room full of people what makes them stand out in such good ways as being very beautiful? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. I'm going to be using this big old box here. 
this is going to be one of the things. This is going to be, um, oh, just different things, you know. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to, like, ask Spirit to help me to choose the right ones for you. So, this is going to give us a lot of specific answers about what it is about you, okay, that makes you stand out in a room full of crowded people. Okay. And then I'm also going to be getting some charms. So Spirit, help me to choose some charms out of here. I'm closing my eyes. I'm not looking. I'm just going to choose whatever Spirit calls me to choose. I love using charms because it's so much fun. Okay. So I'll put these to the side. What makes you stand out in a crowded room full of people? You are genteel. You're well-mannered and you're stylish and elegant. And so the way that you walk and talk and move, it's so like graceful and like, it's almost like when you move, it's like, I don't know, it's like you float. <laughs> like walking on air almost like, I don't know, it's just, you could like to wear flowy things too, especially if, if you're um, in your feminine, divine feminine, you could like have a flair for very flowy types of things. And whatever you wear is very stylish, okay, very elegant looking on you. You always know how to make me feel better. So yeah, okay, so you just know how to like make people around you feel good. And this is part of your charm. You know, I know it's not like really a part of your physical appearance, but it's something that Spirit wanted to bring through about your charm. You can move quickly and respond with physical strength. So you have like a lot of physical strength about you that's very, very, I want to say like appealing and attractive. And you could exercise quite a bit or like take good care of your fitness, take good care of your body. It really shows. You are magnetizing and uh, when you walk into a room, it's definitely one of those things that like people just kind of notice about your aura is it's very magnetic. No matter what you look like, your aura is very, very magnetic and a lot of people are prone to staring at you. I was just hearing that from spirit. You are affectionate and you demonstrate kindness to others in a physical way. You have exotic looks. You are charismatic you are empowered and you confidently speak up for yourself and others when necessary. You have mysterious vibes. You're a friend to everyone. So you have a very friendly disposition that makes you like alluring to all kinds of people. Makes you stand out. You're very, you, you provide a good example for other people. It seems like you've grown a lot too as a person. You have hypnotic eyes, your energy is hypnotic, and you're spellbinding, and you're empathic. So one of the other piles had um, this, I think it was pile three. It's basically people kind of like almost like presume that you put a love spell on them because they can't take their eyes off from you. A lot of people think you're beautiful or they fall in love with you very easily. People are prone to falling in love with you very easily or like that kind of like have that inability to get over you. Okay, and then as far as like the charms go, we have crazy for you. So you definitely make people fall in love with you and like get crazy for you or act crazy for you. In a little bit, I'm going to get into specific like physical traits about you. But yeah, um, I don't know. If you're wondering about something, something near and dear to your heart, it says God will send you a sign. So we just wanted to bring that through justice fairness so um somebody's gonna be getting their comeuppance or their karma if there's like something going around you that just doesn't seem fair in your personal life spirit just wanted to bring that through as like a confirmation or you know as like an added bonus in this segment that like a bonus within a bonus you could say that somebody's gonna get um their karmic justice and that will be served okay so you don't have to worry about it whatever that may be and there's something about a libra that could be concerning a libra sun moon or ascendant um also we have the moon here 
that could be for Pisces, Sun or Ascendant. So justice will be served con um, concerning a Pisces or a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody. Or a Leo. Okay. And also we've got the dog here. Friendly. I just heard friendly and loyal. People think you're friendly and loyal and they love your eccentric fun side. They think you're hot. Like you're like your your vibes and your your body and all that is like it's yeah it's very hot exciting passionate type of energy um you may attract a lot of frenemies or like people who pretend to be your friends but like they're actually secretly kind of jealous of you because of your beauty and the way you look so sometimes fr um, friends can turn into enemies hence the frenemies we have the umbrella that always reminds me of that song umbrella 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 so yeah um that song is by rihanna some people think that you're like a shelter a safe place and um other people think that you're like very fierce and very beautiful i mean think of you know think of rihanna and how um really fierce but yet very beautiful she is birthday cake okay some people think you're very sweet or they celebrate you a lot of people celebrate your looks and you could have a birthday coming up soon let that be like extra validation which happy birthday if you do um the king's crown you you really do look royal and regal with your stature and everything like that and you have like an independence about you a little bit of a hard to get nature because we got the kitty cat here which kind of reminds me of like independent vibes. You know how some cats can be like very independent. Dogs are more like needy. Cats can be more like independent. Just depending on the, the cat and its personality. But yeah. Let's get into like your, your very specific like physical features that really, really stand out when you're in a crowded room. Okay. You know, I think there's something here the spirit is showing me about your hair specifically um but yeah let me get some a tool okay let's see okay some of y'all you have really really nice legs okay very nice thighs you could have thick thighs they could be muscular or just thick with nice shape like like kim k you have a nice booty that people really oh you look good in a bikini if you're a woman or like if you're a man you look good in like swimwear okay you have a nice you have a nice stomach and a really nice shaped booty you have also beautiful hair okay And your face. You have three charms in your face area of your face. Wow. Um, we have mother here. You could look a lot like your mom. I don't know. Or your grandma. You could be have like a lot of that genetics. If they were like very beautiful, you know, you could have gotten some of their beauty. This could be on your father's or your mother's side. Which you may look like somebody very beautiful from your ancestral line. It could be a grandma, a great grandma. Um, it says, I wish you could understand how I feel. There's somebody here who's definitely coming into this reading who wants you to understand more about how they feel when they look at your face, because looking at your face can evoke quite a few reactions from people. And there's somebody here who just kind of like feels very strongly whenever they look at your face. And it's kind of like, they just want you to know or understand how they're feeling. So there's that. <laughs> and then we have the tree for grounded, like, when people look at your face, they just see you as somebody who you could kind of almost be like a combination be some, between somebody who's definitely like a dreamer, but yet very grounded in reality. And like, you know, you go to work every day, you're really responsible, but like you also kind of have like dreamy vibes, like dreamy eyes. You could have like, you could have Pisces in your chart somewhere because you have very like, almost like big innocent eyes, very dreamy eyes. You have nice arms, too. The shape of them is nice. I don't know if, like, you work out or, like, it just looks like you do, but, like, your arms seem to be, like, either elegant or, like, maybe long and elegant or, like, muscular. And you have nice shoulders. They could be, like, kind of muscular or, like, defined. 
those are the things basically that people notice about you your hair your booty your legs your face your arms your shoulders okay and yeah you have a really really like beautiful face i want to say like nice arched eyebrows um or like well-defined eyebrows and simply just like really good ratios in your face with the proportions and everything that's just very pleasing to the eye and many many people would agree to that i hope that you've enjoyed this subscriber bonus and thanks again so much for being part of this awesome community i really do truly love and appreciate each and every one of you so very much and please leave me a comment if this did resonate and if you did enjoy it and please press that like button too because that really does help the video to get out to more people and it also helps me to know that you liked and enjoyed today's reading. Much love to you all. I hope you take real good care. And until next time, bye.